Hey guys, Opto back again with another quick little tip I think is going to help your mixing and a little bit of tactileness. If you like me and you like being tactile, I've got faders and things around me and I thought I think this will help you guys out. If you've got a MIDI controller, any kind of MIDI controller, something with maybe faders or rotary dials on it, those kind of things, this could be really helpful. Just bring back that tactileness. And when it comes to this plugin here, the VLA3A from Black Rooster Audio, I love this on voiceover by the way, I tend to want to use the gain and the peak reduction in unison together. So I thought, well, let's hook this up via MIDI and make it so. So let's do that the easy way. So we click the little parameter box here and we come down to FX parameter list, go to learn. So on the side there we've got a list of all the things that we can control via MIDI. So I want to control the peak reduction and I want to control the gain. Let's start with the one on the left, the gain. So we click gain and I've got this set for enable only when the effect configured is focused. So that means when this is in view it will only change the parameters then. So now I grab the rotary fader that I want to use for the gain and just move it and there we go it's already selected the MIDI channel and which position it's in so every time I use that fader now it will actually change the control see now we're away so let's do the same for the other one so let's go peak reduction so FX parameter list learn and peak reduction same again grab the other one that I want to use and that's that one and let's go okay so now I can control both at the same time any values that I like when I want to move them together. Isn't that easy? Isn't that cool? Brought the tactileness back to your mixing. And, uh, and there we go. So there we go, guys. Hope that little tip has helped and hope it brings back a little bit more fun to your mixing. All right, we'll catch you on the next video soon. Cheers.